Welcome to Thrashing Code. I'm Adrian, your host, and we're going to do another reaction video now. So just for a little context, I've been checking out a band and actually picked up quite a few of their albums on vinyl and have been rocking out to them. Haven't seen a single video. This was one of those things where uh, I had purchased something on, oh, Amazon. I got a vinyl on Amazon, which I usually try to buy from other places, not the Amazon, but sometimes they're literally just the easiest place to get something from. So anyway, I'm trying to uh, to pick up an album or something. I think it was when I was going through six iterations of X Order, trying to pick up an LP that or vinyl that wasn't warped, right? Because one of their presses was just super warped. I eventually got it to work, but it included a penny on top of the needle. Anyway, I'm getting off into the weeds. In that process, somehow, I started getting obsessively recommended via the Amazon algorithm, this band called North Lane. Now, somehow I have just gapped metalcore from my active memory for the past, I don't know how many years. But I didn't know anything about North Lane. I don't know North Lane. And I picked up that vinyl and I started listening to him and I was just like, holy shit, this, is, this band is pretty good. And then I realized just recently, as I was flipping through videos in the algorithm, recording reactions, I saw, poof, a North Lane video for something that just dropped called Dante. So this song, Dante by North Lane, is one of their recent drops, and we're gonna get right into it. Hmm. Those outfits, the red. The, 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 the mini board, let's punch the buttons. I am not surprised to see that. Okay, the, al the outfit is magical. Like, I want some elements of that outfit. I really do. Their outfits are kind of cool. I don't like that poor sleeve thing. The sleeves coming down. Okay, that's here. I'm doing style in a video. Is that a? I thought that was a Telecaster first. Did I see a Telecaster just a second ago? Okay, I'm looking at guitars, but I just got distracted by an arrow person. What is an arrow person doing? That is a Telecaster. That's a Telecaster style guitar. What the hell is that? Never imagined seeing a Telecaster in music like this. Oh, and the arrow person has an eye aimer glow in the dark red thingy. What is... Okay, something bugging me already. That looks... That looks... Super freaking cool. So the video is cool. Verdict's out on the song so far. Rainbow. Oh, they got him. They're gonna shut him up. Just arrowed him through in multiple parallel universes. Man, he's pretty tough. He can still sing, and he's got an arrow through his chest, right through his, right through where the, like the artery to the heart is. God, brutal. Oh, I see. He took he took off the other clothes because he got hot. Because it's it's clearly he can't be performing even in like. 
30 degree temperature, 30 degree Fahrenheit, sorry, zero degree fel- Celsius, basically. Um, you can't be performing with all that heavy ass stuff on, no matter how cool it is, you gotta take it off. It's like, I don't really like, I actually don't like that dude's outfit. Everybody else's outfit except that one dude with the weird, like, dirty looking white lines coming out of everywhere. Like, he laid around in the trash. Looks cool. But he looks like a dirty ass dude that got out of a dumpster. Um. Is that like a bike chain around his neck? So five arrows is about to do him in, I guess. Oh, he's still got the, sl- the sleeve tire on. Whatever that thing is. This dude's like... Bjorn Ironside just can't take him down can't shut him up Those red blood gobulets, G- gobulets. I guess he's dreaming himself dying after getting shit, getting shot with five arrows. So the video was, you know, pretty pretty decent production, but it was just them playing, and like a pseudo story of, I don't know, I don't know what the, I don't know how I feel about the video. I don't actually know how I feel about that song, um, compared to most of the other North Lane stuff. Oh, there he goes. It's going to heaven. Saw the bright white light. Yeah, okay. How do I feel about this one? Jury's kind of out, right? It seems it seems like less... I can't really say that. It's one song. And even the, the first song that came out for the Descent album by Orbit Culture, I was like, oh, that song is not as... It's not as da-da-da-da as their other stuff. But... This one doesn't seem as, it's it's not as heavy or not as, it, it doesn't have as much effect as the other stuff does, this this new song, Dante. Um, but overall, like, one of the things about Northlane is it's, it's a very atmospheric, like, band, right? Kind of makes me think of Spirit Box, but the difference is, is Spirit Box has some very clearly defined, like, bass guitar drums and and they are heavy spirit box is heavy as fuck right north lane has some moments where it gets pretty heavy sometimes in some of their songs at least on the other albums i have and they use a mix of triggers etc etc with the drumming watching this video though i really don't like watching the drummers like do this the dude's playing the floor tom right or is he playing a hi-hat is it like hidden over there did i not see it and he's playing the snare, and the snare is on beat. So, like, the video showing him playing is on beat, but then what is it? Is it an d- electronic thing? Hi-hat? Electronic hi-hat or something going... You know, and he's not doing it. He's not doing shit. So what's going on? What's happening there? And that type of thing, that drives me nuts when I watch stuff like this. But I know the band has a lot of electronic elements, a lot of, you know, triggers, a lot of MIDI stuff wired in there, right? So it's cool. Uh, definitely we'll give the rest of the album a listen. But this this first song on first watch did not really give me the, oh, cool, new Northlane stuff feel, right? It's more like, oh, new Northlane song. Hmm, I wonder what the rest of the album's like. That's how I feel right now. Um, so not the best position to be in. But then, of course, with the new Orbit Culture Descent album, 
I listened to the first song and I was like, oh, okay, I want to listen to the rest of the album. And then I listened to the rest of the album and I was like, holy shit, this is some great music, right? So maybe I listen to the rest of the North Lane album and I go, holy shit, this is a great album, this is blah, blah, blah. So it, it's very dependent. But uh, on first watch, eh, that, that one was a little, it wasn't as strong of a showing as a lot of their other stuff that got me into them has done. But with that, catch you next reaction video. Thanks for joining me again. This is Adrian, out. Keep thrashing.